Also, I don't like Tweedle. Dio are dumb. They're both stupid. I want them to die. I oh, am. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing a lot better. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're going to be sore. Bigby, Doctor Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <sighs> well, this is gonna be hard to be a renegade. More fights. Keep strain off your heart. I can't take it easy. I have to. I have to find Crane. Bigby, what's wrong? Lack of sleep for one thing. Getting shot for another. They'll be fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar, with a dose of juniper and spring water. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything I guess I gotta, I guess, I gotta and play. I need more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. Look, I'm not the one who creates the situations. I'm just the one who has to deal with them. So you say. <laughs> Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White? Big B? Uh, is she... So, to recap... Oh, this is Green gonna be watched good. Him through the magic mirror, uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan. Yeah. Apparently. There's that, no other that wasn't words. as bad. I thought this she was gonna recap about the photo. For the mirror. And then have a little bit of PTSD because you know I would if I was in that situation. Just, I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if. I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it, but do you really think he killed those women? From what I saw at the open arms, everything points to Crane murdering Lily. That's but how I go about it. His faith. Why would he kill her? It doesn't seem connected. Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense. He's, I guess that's a good point. He was a conniver, a, a coward, a liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll <laughs> hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. Any time. Um. Can I, um, ask you a question? Okay. It's kind of personal. What? And I don't want to offend you. Why? What's on your mind? It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight. It feels like before we came to the city. It feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know. Why even bring this up? I guess it doesn't matter. No, it does matter. It's the tiny things. Uh, guys, also, uh, Renegade. We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. That's a large what piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's a... Uh... Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what it was until now. The mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. 
We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know Never that mind it... that. Come help me look. Okay, time to do some detective work. I'm just gonna go talk to Buffkin over here. What's he gotta Hi, say? Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault. All right. Y you mean it? Yeah. I, I guess that's I'll enough. I mean, really, I what can we this. do? You do that. Get I mean, like, ask him why couldn't he stop? I mean, come on. Look at him. He's going to stop Crane? I don't think so. There's nothing over here, is there? Nope. I guess I'll go talk to Snow. Duncan says that he overheard crane call somebody before he left sounds like he's going to see a witch or his witch his glamour witch wait really none of the 13th floor witches would allow that sort of thing they must be somewhere in the city it's something at least find anything no but there's enough notes and stuff here to take all night maybe check that stuff there I don't think she has anything else to say. She, you know what? Look, does she have anything else to say? To which, probably not, but might as well check. Am I not close enough? I, I mean, like, I guess I can't talk. Uh, fine. I, can I examine Crane's desk? Do I have to be on the other side? It's really it, isn't it? I mean, it looks like he can explore everything, but I don't think so. Ooh, all right. I see a key. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to know. I need to know. I think it's better if you don't know. Don't coddle me, okay? I've seen more than you know. She has a good point. There's only so much you can repress, you know? Don't worry, Snow. We'll get him. Come on, let's keep looking. Let's see. Uh, I guess I should take a look at these letters. Boy, boy blue. Okay, so this guy, this is a complaint letter. I don't think that's really all that important. Let's see, what do we got here? Another complaint letter? Extra funding? I'm not really seeing anything. Pointless. So is this, is this also pointless? Chances are, maybe. That one's from Mr. Toad. Didn't ever do any work. <laughs> Only when Cole was around. So under those regards, the desk has to have something. There we go. Yeah, see, they looked a little relieved. This has to be good. This, oh. There's a page here that was torn out. Looks oh, like yeah? it's the ring of something. Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's 
a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Yeah, I only recently heard about this meeting. Why didn't you mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me I called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. So I got a question. How is this Bluebeard's business? A.M. I mean, Listen, like, is, is he like a, a bounty this. hunter or I something? I don't, I don't really know. Uh, you know what? Why do you even care about this? Why? I'm invested in this enterprise we call Fable Town. <laughs> Literally invested. Since it's mostly my money that keeps the whole thing running. And tonight I hear that Crane has been killing Fables? And there's no system in place to catch him? Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. Put you in charge in the first place. Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. Man, there's a lot of conflict. All right, let's just... Look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the hmm. witch down. Even if they're not there, the Tweedle's office might have something on Crane. Or the witch. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Fine, I don't care. Just go ahead. We can't just let Bluebeard run amok in Crane's place. Ah! He's after something. I just don't know what it is. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or oh, the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? Hmm. So many options. So limited time. Have to find that witch. 
So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. Thank you.